Sunday, you know what time it is. Let us go on another journey with our Nakama at Fairy Tale and see how all of this conflict is going to resolve on the back of Mr. Wood Dragon himself, Alderon. And so, in the last episode, Natsu became a ghost. <laughs> well, Wraith turned him into a ghost and he's fi his spirit's fighting him back. Although Wraith has now possessed Makarov, which apparently he has like a very big affinity towards. So he might actually be kind of strong. And it's going to be Natsu punching grandpa, man. And Makarov can't even walk anymore. So I kind of feel bad for him. But I feel like Natsu's going to do the right thing and punch the shit out of him and punch the spirit out of him somehow. And Wraith's going to get taken down. We also have Kyria fighting Loxus, who got taken down by Loxus. Even though Loxus is still under the control of the white mage so now we have three parties at play we have you know team natsu fairy tale still fighting for our side trying to get the old fairy tale members back from the white mage with the white mage trying to destroy all of the crystals on alderaan's back so she can white him out have him destroy all the other dragons so she can white out them but at the same time we have the diablos guild and all of their members here also trying to destroy the crystals but also antagonizing both other parties so it's like you have this three-way free-for-all going on between all these people and like at the end of the day like it's going to be easier for them to destroy the crystals if they work together although they have different goals so i think lucy's finding out that there's a way to get all of the guild members back by you know destroying their hypnosis in some way maybe related to the sunglasses that she had in her capricorn form i have no idea but we'll have to see that's gonna probably be key in whatever we do to basically split the white mage from toka because if we can switch split toka's personality from the white mage's personality then with with wendy's help of course and wendy's on her own right now with i guess a diablo spider guy then that entire thing will just stop i think because if Toka doesn't have a body to inhabit, how is she going to do anything? Or if the White Mage, I mean, doesn't have a body to inhabit, how is she going to do anything? That's that's the key here. If we can figure that out, we'll figure out the rest. But i got to say, the last couple episodes have felt really fun. I really think that JC Staff's finally hitting their stride in Fairy Tale and like letting Fairy Tale be Fairy Tale, letting the outfits be the outfits and letting the characters like be ridiculous and and sexy and all these different things that they should have been able to be from the beginning, but they were being held back a little bit. I just won't think that when we get new outfits, we gotta let them have the outfits, man. Jalal and Urza letting that whole thing happen. <laughs> So fucking funny. I love Jalal, man. Me too. Me too, man. Me too, Jalal. I feel I feel you. All the things you've been saying are Urza. I feel you. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed these reactions to Fairy Tale, please like the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you want to see the last 12 episodes on the channel, turn your notifications on so that way you know when I post those videos. And of course, if you want to leave a comment down below, I will read every single one. I love talking to my Nakama from Fairy Tale, my guild members, my fellow guild members who love Fairy Tale as much as I do. You guys are amazing. And if you do want to support me even further, go over to my Patreon. Links in the description below for that you get all the uncut versions of these reactions that come out a couple hours before they come out on youtube and sometimes even earlier than that and you get an invite to our discord server if you link your accounts together if you join on the discord it's a really fun time in there we have a ton of fun people talking about different anime related topics and there are people from all over the world that have a good taste in anime just like you do so hop in there if you want to you can also do it by joining as a youtube member down below if you click the link in the description you also get some unique benefits there with a the youtube membership so thank you guys so much appreciate you yeah, let's get into fairy tale. Let's go. Oh, Wendy. <laughs> She's trying again. This, didn't she already eat shit and fall down? <laughs> this is so funny. I feel like I've seen something like this before. Ah, cocoon dragon. Ew, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> no. She's rolling. Okay, Wendy. <laughs> rolling around like a cocoon. <laughs> yeah, Charl, me too. It's like Metapod use Harden. Oh, wow. Even while she's a cocoon. Wendy, MVP. Oh, he's going for the crystal instead. Oh, he's going to break it. Oh, well, that's another one. We failed. He's just out walking around. There's still three. 
Poor guy. He just looks so cute. Why do we gotta do this to him? Oh, Kiria is gonna fight him. Are they gonna fight again? Yeah, I was gonna say, aren't you both here for the same thing? Right? Oh my god, she's fucking... Kiria doesn't have a cake, man. She's got the full fucking bakery. Oh my god! Look at that thing! Ah! I'm gonna ex I'm gonna die. I don't understand the, the, the meaning of the straps on the side, like the high um, waist straps, because whenever she was wearing like the little skirt thing, I thought that meant that it was a thong, but it's kind of like a two-strap two underwear. I don't know. Debating like all of the intricacies of women's underwear, you know? That's what we do on the channel. Yeah, so they're kind of like doing the same thing. Jesus Christ, Kyria is just so fucking cute, man. I can't. I, I can't, dude. <laughs> oh, she definitely did. She definitely did. Since she looks so yummy. You know what looks more yummy? Your butt. <laughs> she doesn't even care. She just wants to fight him anyway. Yeah, but Jalal's got it. What the? Strapped to a tree? Well, Jalal, what are you about to do, man? What the fuck? <laughs> hey, yo. Don't say it like that, Jalal. Oh. That's so fucking weird. The phrasing. Phrasing, bro. Pause. Urza, stop blushing like that with your all tied up like that. It's going to make me act up. Oh, that's true. I forgot about that. Yeah, kind of awkward. Now I feel bad about saying that. When they were all tied up on the on the tower. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh. He actually released it. Wow. What? Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are we doing here? What the? That's what I'm saying. Oh! <laughs> she used the wrap to tie him up. Oh, he's. <laughs> oh my God, Jalal, you absolute maniac, bro. <laughs> Wait, I gotta go back because that was like. That was really hot. What the fuck? See, this is something that I thought I would expect JC staff to censor, but they didn't. You gotta pause it. I didn't know she could ever pull it off. It never got pulled off before. Hold on, we gotta get the right pause. You know what? W's. W's all around. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Bro sitting there at like half chub and she's really gonna leave him? He's gonna flip the switch and turn it off and just leave the room? Oh no. Uh, oh! He's able to use his powers too? Yeah, right? He didn't go to the wall? You're just a thought form. <laughs> You're cheating. <laughs> Natsu's like, I don't get it. <laughs> he did say that he didn't have any family, but are we saying that Makarov is related to him somehow? Correct! Does he have some, like, bastard children out there? Oh, he definitely did, like, literally in the last season. That's what I'm saying. Is he related to him? <laughs> what if it was Makarov himself? <laughs> He's not even listening. <laughs> oh! We've been a while since we've even seen Makarov move like this. Uh oh, he's going big mode. Oh, he's gone. 
Giant! He's gone! Titan! But you know... Oh! Alright, Natsu, get in there! Oh! Let's go! Hopefully there's not a lot of people around. There was people in the... The, the buildings that the Natsu went through before. Oh! Oh, what? What? Was he a member of Fairy Tale? He's getting memories? He's seeing Makarov's memories? Yajima was la look at him. He's like the little he's like the little chef guy like when he was way younger. <laughs> Quattro, Cerberus, Bob, Blue Blue Pegasus Guildmaster, and Rob. Oh my god! When she was even younger, this is crazy! Flashback right now. Yeah. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> uh, uh, oh my god. No way. Does Poli Ryusha and Makarov have a kid together and that is Wraith? Yes, but actually no. Oh no, no, no. Never mind. He was correct. Oh, back when he was there. The ex guild master turned bad guy from like season five or seven or whatever. Oh my god. So, in he just was a random guy that got pulled into the Gary Fairy Tale Guild. It's already too late. He knew his name. Brother? Just friends? What? That was his real name too. Was he a fairy tale member? Who died like 70 years ago? He was! Look at that, Mark! We're family. It's not about the actual blood relations. It's about the fairy tale family tie. I love that. That's so good. Wraith was a fairy tale member. That's why the resonance is so fucking high. Beautiful. That means he's going to pass on. It's thicker than blood exactly found family. You love to see that. Which means that he's going to pass away, right? Oh my god, he's literally passing on to the next life. The music for this scene, though, is so good. Oh, he said his... Oh, <laughs> oh that's wonderful. Rest in peace, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Happy, aww. <laughs> Meanwhile, Gray's one over here. <laughs> Kana! We were looking for Kana. She's like literally still getting drunk even though she's under hypnosis. <laughs> this is what Lucy's looking for Kana. Apparently Kana's key to like whatever Lucy's idea was. That's what I'm saying! <laughs> oh my god. Literally one of the top three, dude. Top three best fairy tale girls right here. I love Kana. No, she's gonna kick his ass, isn't she? She's gonna kick his ass, isn't she? You can't even hit her. Da the style points! The dodge as she chugs! Oh my god! <laughs> I love Kana! Oh my god, so good! Oh! Wait, what? She's gonna use Fairy Law right now? Are you serious? Oh, Glitter, I mean. What? You're gonna blow up everything! Lucy, what? Oh! Lucy! She used the... Arius's... 
I haven't seen it in so long. I love it. I love it. I love the new design. Oh my god, Lucy's just getting every single celestial outfit to this in this arc in this season, and each one of them is so peak. <laughs> like, except for Sagittarius, I'm still mad about that one. Bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> Wait, what is a fluffy wuffy? Oh, even Blue's out. That's literally okay. I love her so much. <laughs> her cards? Hey, yo. What else is in there? <laughs> I hope she is. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yes, do it. Go for it. Yeah, you do. Damn. Oh, man. That feels like something that should have had a, you know, like a thought bubble or something, though. <laughs> I love Juvia. I love Groovia. <laughs> oh, seal all the guild members in there? That's her idea. How yeah, true. How are you going to get to use it? She can use it? Okay, Lucy, OP. Yeah, at least protect them so they don't get attacked. Yeah. Oh, she trapped herself. <laughs> You're the one who said that you were going to use it, Lucy. Oh. What? Wait. Um. You need to know the trick. She's explaining it. Is she just drunk enough that she's gonna help us, or was she never under the hypnosis? Huh? Oh. Wait. Was she not under the hypnosis? She maybe she was so drunk. <laughs> she never got a t wide it out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he just went along with it. Oh, oh, oh my god, <laughs> Juvine! <laughs> oh my god, dude, I actually love that if that's true. <laughs> Lucy Booba looking nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, when you run out of control. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, she's just sobered up like right now. This is actually perfect. Oh, meanwhile here, this fight. Another taste of the ta of the cake. Oh, the music. Oh, what? Did it actually work? Jesus, the butt. Oh, he's not worried about it at all. But. What? He doesn't view himself as strong. Lox just thinks he's weak, so it doesn't work. Oh! Booba. Oh, do the flip. Yep. Okay, nice. Nice. <laughs> Defeated? Loxus? It literally was, too, because Urza wants to be strong for the guild. A man with such weakness in his heart, so her ability literally doesn't work. Huh. Oh my god! Wait, actually, she fell for him! <laughs> Make Curious and Big for Loxus, just like Jamie would. <laughs> Jamie, woo -woo. shout out to you, girl. <laughs> I want to see your reaction to this. I can't, I'm going to go watch her reaction to this. Oh, okay. She's just going to use that maneuverability? Even though she's still cocoon mode? Oh, he's using Spider-Man abilities. I hope Wendy beats his ass somehow. I'm surprised she can even move. What? What do you just eat? Gum? Is... You see, don't you know that bungee gum has both the properties of rubber and gum? 
Bungee gum contains the properties of both rubber and gum, you see. Oh! But did it break the cocoon, though? It looked like it broke the cocoon. Get the... Lucy looks kind of off model right now. <laughs> oh, what about Mira Jane, though? They're not working together. Oh, my. Beautiful. Sorry, what? Even though she's knocked out. Maybe she'll join Fairy Tail because she's simping for Loxus. <laughs> Oh, Urza! Oh, because of his constitution. Yeah, this is a, a matchup I never thought I'd ever see. But she's gonna have to do it. What is she doing? Which one? Oh, oh, which one is this? I want to see that one from behind. Yeah, I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> I bet that's where Toka is. Oh! <laughs> he's, he's sitting there like half chub the whole time. <laughs> Whoa, it's like a big church. What? Wait, it actually is. He found her. Is this a trap? It's a trap. <laughs> what, if, what if it's a trap, though? Oh, he actually went for it. <laughs> She's the main enemy. Oh, we believe you. Oh, it's going to be Toka this time. It's Toka. It's not the white mage. What? Save me. From the white mage! What? I mean, we already knew that was gonna happen eventually. Like, like that was that's what she wanted to happen. But how did this come about, though? How did she lose control? That was a fun episode, guys. That was a freaking fun episode. I cannot wait to see this Urza Loxus fight, though. That's the thing that I'm most interested in. Urza Booba too was on point today with that trick on on Jalal. I loved that too, man. You know me. You guys know me. I loved that. Oh my god. And then Lucy in the area Aria's outfit. Love that as well. Kana being too drunk to actually become under hypnosis even better. <laughs> so that's why I love her, man. Top five for sure. Top five fairy tale girls for sure. Man, oh, you, I would drink so much with, with Kana if she was real, man. We would be getting hammered together every freaking night. Love that. But anyways, so Natsu actually encounters Toka here, the real Toka, Toka the girl, who is now relinquished control, or the white mage has relinquished control to her for some reason, unsure if she just can't maintain it for that long. And she asked Natsu to save her, so maybe she wants Natsu to save her from the white mage. I, I mean, again, it always comes down to Wendy, who is still fighting, like, Spider Guy. If she can maybe separate, just like she did with herself and Irene's spirit that was infused into her, potentially, that's got to be, like, the key to all of this, but... I, this 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 arc that this episode was really good, man. I really enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments below, and we'll do a quick check here to see if there's anything that changed from the manga versions. So stick around for that. <laughs> Why are you on the toilet, bro? <laughs> the toilet paper's right behind him. He's like, I'm out of toilet paper. So actually, it's very interesting that the anime decided to not animate her skirt on this and just given us her bare ass, which I'm like totally fine with by the way it's actually an uncensored like it's it's more fan service in a way yeah this is the part i was curious about they actually gave us more urza boob service than the manga did what is going on there man did they did they have a, a board meeting and they're like actually you can make this even sexier now even though they were like kind of censoring a little bit of it at the beginning of the season now they're like going all out i, I mean I, i'm glad i'm just confused <laughs> oh minerva cooking something over here with a naked apron oh wait no it's not naked apron sorry i just got excited <laughs> 
Oh my god, we are See, we're deprived of evergreen in her bra, though. That's the sad part here. Oh man. Yeah. That that could have been that could have been so much better. Why does Evergreen still have to be in the robe? Man, come on. Oh, that Kana hug. Oh. I got some side boob on that Kana hug though. Yeah, they should have gone with the side angle. I like the side angle a little bit more. Damn. They missed some of the armor damage to her uh, chest plate here a little bit, though. <laughs> oh, my God. Under the waterfall. Yeah, I wish they'd do the clothing damage part a little bit better. Oh, man. See, I like the way they did, they did this really well, but they never do the Urza transformation uh, well. Well, they do it well sometimes, but they don't do it. They only have done it, like, amazingly in that movies, in the movies and the OVA. Because, damn, look at that. Look at that booba service. See, it's, like, inconsistent. That's what I'm talking about. It's like you get the, the one scene earlier with Jalal, and they actually give us more Urza booba service. But when it's her tra transforming, we don't get it. I don't know. It's interesting choices. The things that don't actually take that much time, they're just actual choices that they're making. And it ends off there. Okay. So a couple changes there. Some for the better, some for the worse. I don't really know. But like other than that, like we haven't gotten any skip content. This is all about just censorship, I suppose. Censorship choices by the design team. Sometimes they do it even more etchy, and then sometimes they take the etchy away. It's like, I don't really know what they're doing. I don't really know why they're making the decisions they're making. It always is like super confusing to me, like why it's so inconsistent. But I don't maybe somebody has some better information information on that than i do i just always like to evaluate that stuff and be like why would why would you make that choice anyway but anyways let me know your thoughts on that comparison in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching and of course i just want to give a big shout out to our in the comment tier subscribers and above on patreon and youtube could not do it without your support thank you guys so much hunter delupin jmc nick to one one Corey, eric barton fireheart 310 poco Jose Rafael, castor joseph ariaga joshua schaefer lucas bull salty fries wall eater and he sung Choi. Thank you guys all. That's going to do it for me for this one. I've been Zach. You've been you. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.